The Wichita Falls unemployment rate continues the gradual downward trend of the past year and is now at the same rate that it was, uh, well, before the pandemic and it's also at the state level. Yeah, the city's rate in December was 3.6%, down from 3.7% in November and from 4% a year ago. It compares to a high during the 2020 pandemic of 11%. The three county metro region was 3.3% for December. When unemployment numbers shot sky high at the peak of the pandemic, many wondered if the economy would ever recover and return to pre COVID conditions. Well, are we finally shaking back nearly three years later? Curtis Jackson spoke with Wichita Falls Chamber of Commerce President and CEO Ron Kitchens today. So, Curtis, we set another milestone. Yeah, we did. We've hit our lowest unemployment rate since before the COVID pandemic, and Kitchens says that we can expect those numbers to continue continue to slightly drop throughout 2023. We all remember the pandemic. I mean, how could we forget? Millions of lives were lost along with millions of jobs causing Texas to hit a 12.9% unemployment rate at the beginning of the pandemic. Texas was leading the nation in employment. Um, we saw less loss than, um, than a lot of the states that shut down. You know, we saw states like Michigan, New York, uh, California sees skyrocketing unemployment that stayed up. Texas saw some short term spikes. But nearly three years later, and Kitchen says there's a light at the end of the tunnel, seeing that more than 660,000 jobs were added in Texas last year. I think um, great leadership that didn't overreact. The uh, fact that um, Texas is growing when we look at those states that, in a lot of cases, overreacted in terms of shutting their economy down. Those were already states with very slow or no growth. Kitchen says one reason unemployment numbers are dropping could be that all the businesses that shut down are now open and operating as they did pre-pandemic or starting up a new business. The big issue is getting uh, more people into the economy, participating. Wages are going up, so it's bringing people back into the workforce that maybe weren't working. But we also have to see people be more flexible. As in utilizing one of the largest job providers in Wichita Falls, Shepherd Air Force Base. We have a lot of spouses at, um, at Shepherd that need to enter the workforce. The so companies have been hesitant to hire somebody that may be leaving in two or three years. They're no longer hesitant and understand those are incredible workers and we want to get them in the workforce. Adding more jobs and workers, creating a bigger and more vibrant economy. Now for a full breakdown of the um, unemployment rates for 2022 in Texas, head on over to texomashomepage.com and click inside the store. It is just so great to see a bounce back for sure. Okay, Curtis, thanks so much.